great morning, great afternoon, and great evening. These are maths time with Mr. Michael's author, mathematics teacher. Today, we'll be looking at one interesting topic ever in mathematics. And what is that topic? We all do these things daily. But most people don't know what they do because most times we are not even so sure of the responses, the replies, the answers we give to people. Sometimes we use imaginations. Why? Because our brain have told us that is what it is. Most times we get it wrong, most times we get it right. But in this class, we are going to know that most of the times that we get them right, it is because what? We estimate and we assume. It is not just mere assumption, but it is an assumption that is intact with what we really know. Now, what are we talking about? We are talking about estimation and approximation. Now, let's look at the meaning of estimation. When we talk about estimation, we are talking about approximating. That is, it's an appro approximate value, close to the correct value. That means it is not really, so not that it's wrong, but authentically it is not correct. So, it is a way of giving, getting a wrong or a rough answer at which you know that the difference in the answer does not really affect the real fact about it. So it's not something we use a calculator to calculate. Mostly we, it is a brain work. So with our brain, we can give an estimate, we can approximate and run off. For example, let me say numbers. Since we're talking about mathematics, we'll be able to run off numbers and make sure that it shortens the length of any number that we are trying to work with. Because sometimes when we are given some problems to solve, some people say that when they have more than three, four, or six different numbers, they find it so difficult to multiply or divide. So if you are asked to round up the number, they are trying to tell you that shorten the numbers so that you will be able to have an approximate number that are not so that are not quite um, the correct value of what you are expected to give. Now let's look at this. How do we approximate? Because when we talk about approximation and estimation, there are ways at which we do approximation. One of the major ways that we do approximation or estimation is to run up figures. And why do we run up figures? Like I said earlier, to shorten the, the number of digits that we have in a row. For example, if we have 1,654 and we are asked to run it up to the nearest thousand, we know that this 1,654 is more than 1,005. Once it is more than 1,500, it is now going towards 2,000. So if they are, we are asked to run it up to it up to um, it, the nearest to the nearest to the nearest thousand, like I said earlier, it is more than one five is heading towards two thousand. So the value becomes two thousand. But if they say we should run it up to the nearest hundred, like we said earlier, one thousand six hundred and fifty four. Now in fifty in hundred fifty is half of hundred, just like five hundred is half of one thousand. Or half of thousands 50 is half of hundreds now this same number crosses 50 it has 54 that means the nearest value of this number in hundred is 700 because we already have 650 something going towards 1700 so the nearest hundred is 1700 then to the nearest 10 to the nearest 10 we know that we have 1654 this 4 is not up to 5 because just like 500 is half of 1,000, 50 is half of 100, 5 is half of 10. This 4 now is not up to 10. So we round it down. From 54, we take it back to 50 because 50 is closer to 54 than 60. Now let's see it. As we all know, we talked about the running up of numbers and the running up the down of numbers. What do we mean by running up or running down numbers? We run numbers to reduce their number of digits, just like I explained earlier. So numbers that are less than five get rounded up. Oh, sorry, get rounded down. Why the numbers that are higher than from five and above, they get rounded up? Because from five, we have six. As we are climbing, we are ascending. Six, seven, we are going up. We are from four, three, two, we are running, running down. So, for example, we say round to one decimal place. 
now we have these ones are decimals decimal numbers we have a whole number which is one we have 47 we round it down to 1.5 sorry we run it up to 1.5 why because 7 is bigger than 5 once we cross 5 any number if you are asked to round off to the number that is next once it is up to 5 we run it up but had it been the 7 is less than 4 it will have been 1.0 because 4 itself is not up to 5 then we have 1.42 we round it up now since 2 is less than 5 we run it down to 1.4 that means we remove the 2 completely and leave it as 4 then we will say 1.4535412 we should run it up we will run it up to 5 why because the 3 that is next there is not up to 5 so the 4 now will be run it up to since the next number is 5 we will run 4 to 5 now let's look at this first example the example says we should express 156 to the nearest 10 156 to the nearest 10 like we know we are going to talk about it we'll talk 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 110 120 130 140 150 160 now we have 156 the sixth there is more than five it's more than four so once we have 155, we are now headed towards 60. Now, to the nearest 10 is now 160. But had it been, it is less than 5. Had it been, it's 154. The nearest 10 will have been 150. But now that it's more than 5, from 5 up, we make it 160. That is just what rounding up. Approximation. That is what it simply means. All right. Now let's look at example two. Example two says, let us estimate these following numbers to the nearest hundred. We are given five hundred and fifty plus two hundred and ninety-eight. Now we don't touch the numbers in hundred based on place values. We only look at the tens and the unit numbers. And in five hundred and fifty, the tens and unit numbers is five and zero plus. The 298, the 2 is 100, we don't touch it, we only touch 98. And now we are going to add this 98 and 50. 98 and 50 is adding it to 500 and 200, it gives us 850. Now, in 298, 98 is rounded up as 300 because it is very close to 300. So it is no longer 298. Well, in 550, we can make it 600 because it is up to 50 in 100. So when we add this 550 and the 300, we have 850. That is how it is being estimated. Now let's look at the 550 plus 248. Now we have 500, 500 we have 50. It's being split separately. Then we have 200 and we have 48. This 48 to the nearest tens is supposed to be 50. So when we consider only the tens and the units only, 50 plus 48, because 50, it is in the tens and unit under 500, while 48, it is in the tens and unit under 200. So 50 and 48 is what we are, we are, we are working with. 500 and 200 those ones are standard we don't touch those ones so 50 plus 48 is nearly 100 so the estimate now becomes 50 500 plus 200 which is 700 plus 100 that we estimate 98 to be that is making 800 so 550 plus 248 estimately when we estimate it it gives us 800 though it is not the correct answer but when we estimate it, it is not very far from the real answer. So that is what estimate does. Now, when we talk about rounding off numbers, this is the easiest way. When we talk about making an estimate of these, round this number up, when we round up numbers, they help to make 
to shorten that number so we can have values that are close to the approximate values. Now let us look at how we can express decimals. There are zero point, like I explained earlier, a number that starts with zero point is less than one. Four, five, six, three, nine, eight, four, eight, or nine, whatever. This number is not up to one because it starts with a zero. Now let us express this to three decimal places. That means there are three there are three numbers that we're supposed to bring us from here. These three numbers, one will come before the decimal point, while the remaining two will come after the decimal point. So if we round up this number to three decimal places, zero point. Now what numbers do we have? We have four, five, six. Five and six are up to five. So we remove from six, three, nine. For it will remove it completely, leaving it for 0 0.45 to three decimal places. So when we work out whether the third number is six or seven, we need to look at the fourth number. If you want to round up the third number, you look at the fourth number. If you want to work out round up the fourth number, you look at the fifth number. If you want to round up the, the fifth number, you have to look at the sixth number. So in three decimal places, the, the numbers now we know that after zero after the decimal point before the decimal point is zero now the th three numbers that comes after decimal point is four five and six now three is not up to five so we cannot run this over to seven rather we remove the three and leave it as four five and six as the three numbers that comes after the decimal points now let's look at this our evaluation questions because estimation evaluation uh, rounding up had, is one of the easiest part of mathematics that anybody will be able to pass we were told to round up in to the nearest 10 21 to the nearest 10 for 451 to the nearest 10 173 to the nearest 10 we'll just try to round up this one to the nearest 10 so the second part of this said we are first of all we are going to add 184 plus 152 whatever answer that we have we'll run it up to the nearest 10 any answer that we have we'll run it up to the nearest 10 not thousands not hundreds not units to the nearest things so with, with what we've learned so far we believe that estimation and approximation is what we all know that for example maybe you are 19 years okay sorry maybe you are 8 years and 7 months you can possibly say you are nine years because you've crossed eight years and six months already. Six months is the middle of, of the year. So once you are up to eight years and six months, you can possibly say you are, you are nine years. But if you are still eight years and four months or eight years and three months, you are still eight years. So with this, I believe that we have gone so far and when we meet in a class, we are going to demonstrate this more on, on the understanding based on... Um, estimation and approximation to have a great day and take it for yourself and stay safe bye